Ladies and gentlemen, I am back with another exciting episode of Toys in My Closet. Brought to you by me, Sala Productions. By the one and only, your host, he fucking bot. And I got a little haul I want to share with you guys. It's Marvel Legends 6-inch articulated figure lines from three different uh, Marvel lores. I have the Doctor Strange that are is from the Build-A-Figure of Dormammu. I have the Captain Britain from the Abomination Build-A-Figure. I have a Rogue, which has been a long time in coming, from the Juggernaut Build-A-Figure line. I have another Build-A-Figure from the Dormammu set. It's the Iron Fist in his real green and yellow attire. And lastly but not least, I have the Hobgoblin from Spider-Man Marvel's Venom Build-A-Figure line. These are all fairly new and um, not easy to find. I got them for a fairly decent price in, a, in one uh, sweep haul. About, uh, I would say, 80 bucks, 85 bucks shipping included. So for those who collect these, you know that that's pretty good, decent price for figures that are very uh, sought after because they're kind of fresh and new still. So I'm going to try to open them up and go and talk about them one by one individually uh, and give you a little detail and show you some of the articulation and the paint work and uh, the details on the actual figures. I'll be right back. Give me about five minutes. See you soon. I am back. And here we go with the first of these figures. Here we have Brother Voodoo. I'll be honest with you. I know he's part of the Doctor Strange mythos and lore, but I don't know much about him. I thought he was really cool looking. As you can see, he has a wonderful detail here. And remember, these Marvel Legends figures are pretty affordable. They're $20 a pop, unless you can get a good deal like I did here with a haul. Uh, but they're of high quality. They're very articulated. You see he has the stripe of his dreads on the top in white. I, I'm assuming that's because he's of age. He's probably an older uh, voodoo uh, magician. Uh, Marvel, the strange, you know, Dr. Strange Lord is about, uh, you know, uh, m magicians and, and shamans and demons and, uh, you know, uh, all kinds of things. Here's this cape tethered on the bottom, ripped and torn. That shows that he's had it for quite some time, for many years. He has some cuffs in his hands. He has a, 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 a nice uh, shape to his hands, you can see here. With the detail, uh, it's a very uh, intricate. It has a nice little hand. Uh, has a nice little hand, uh, what you call it, what we would call. Uh, I tell Jose to. Uh, nice little hand. Uh, 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 oh my god, articulation to make it look like he's uh, casting a spell on somebody. Uh, his eyes are all white. Uh, very nice figure. I really like him a lot. Uh, he's new. Here's the box. Um, Marvel Legends, Doctor Strange line. Beautiful uh, artwork. In the back here, see Doctor Strange himself. This is how he looks like in the original originally here and the original look but the difference is that the dike the decal and the colors his cape is correct but his but he's black on red instead of being blue on black on yellow I believe it is and then here's a picture of voodoo with him standing side by side I can't wait to see the new movie this is uh, Dormammu the build figure in this line you get a, a actually a see-through side I guess it's a variant, uh, like uh, Spirit, Doctor Strange, the classic look with the new decal colors, Mr. Voodoo, his friend, which I believe is Carl Mordor, and we have Doctor Strange from the movie, and we have the Mystic Rivals, uh, which I forget both of their names, but they have the, uh, the girl with the green and the purple decal, and of course Iron Fist. Uh, these lines don't necessarily follow that 
the whole lore, like that, all the characters are from the actual Doctor Strange, but they add uh, like some of the uh, other classic characters, like in this case, uh, uh, you know, Iron Fist from the classic line. So yeah, that's the first one, and then from there we're gonna go to uh, the next figure, which obviously uh, I'm ha one handing it because I have, I didn't have the uh, you know the the courtesy to have help this time around, but here we have. Uh, Captain Britain. Now, Captain Britain is one of the one of the most badder looking character. Like I think he's badass. I think he looks great. Look at his, look at that new face sculpt on him. In fucking incredible. He looks amazing. I like the decal on his helmet, uh, on his shoulder pads, as you can see there. There it is. Beautiful. Out of all the versions they've done for him, even the Toy Biz Marvel Legends from back in the day. I truly feel this is the best version, the best looking one. He's stocky, he has a nice belt buckle there. Uh, you know, beautiful detail in the back. Obviously, they all come with these peg holes because they share a lot of pieces and bucks and, and you know, and like the chest piece and the crouch area and these ties. So some of the figures that come, you know, obviously with the, with the, uh, <clears throat> you know, with things like the uh, capes and stuff like that, they put them on. That's why they, they have these. But I wish they kind of like... Maybe fill them in with like these little plugs that you could just plug them in, or that they came with the figure and you just pop them in, so they wouldn't be so noticeable when you, uh, you know, uh, display them. Yeah, Captain Brent, look at his hands. Uh, looks nice. Looks dope. Nice attention to detail there. There you go. Focus. Focus, my son. There you go. Nice. Yeah, Captain Britain. He looks pretty dope. And here's the packaging again. Comes in the armor of Abomination build the figure. Nice artwork on the sides, like the other ones. And then we go to the back. And here we have him. We have Captain Britain. Even though he looks a little slender there in the picture and the image. And we have uh, Mr. Wonder Man, Marvel's Wonder Man. He looks pretty cool, actually. <clears throat> Here's the Builder figure picture here, and then we have uh, we have Scarlet Witch from the movie. We have Secret Wars Captain America. We have Captain Britain. Obviously, we got Marvel's Eel, uh, Wonder Man, and Iron Skull. I guess this is another version of the uh, uh, Red Skull for maybe for Iron Man. Awesome fig, love it. Uh, you know, I think one of the best ones uh, as far as the interpretation. Hey, look, I have part of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Here goes Star Lord with his, all his badassery and uh, raccoon, rocket raccoon. They're ready to go, rocking. Next figure, obviously, we have is Rogue. Now, Rogue was a long time coming, a lot of people waiting for her. She was one of the first figures from. Toy Biz in the Toy Biz era of Marvel Legends, and you know, what I like about Marvel Legends is that what they do with their female characters is they don't they put a lot of attention and love, just like they do with the male characters. You know, a lot of lines you go in, and a nice buttocks, nice and round, beautiful looking, very sexy, very attractive, breasts very nice. Uh, she has her you know her 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 green uh, head bandana, and the detail on her face is pretty pretty cool. Although I kind of feel like, uh, let me see, although I kind of feel like, let me see if I can get a phone, okay, all right, uh, although I kind of feel like her face, her eyes are maybe too spread out from each other, wide out, I don't know, I mean, she doesn't look as bad in real life, but in this, uh, you know, video here I'm recording, you can actually tell more. Uh, she has the X-Men symbol logo there on the shoulder pads. I love that they give her the little jacket. Uh, and he has, you know, her gray hair, obviously. And the other side, nice detail on her hair. She's got the belt. Nice, with the beautiful metallic green. And, you know, her, her leg pads. This is just to just give you the illusion of her boots, but in actuality, you know, she has the ankle pivots, and these are all fully articulated. They have about 36 points. You know, they split, uh, you know, and they, here in, the, in this general area. 
in, in here and her, you know, breasts and crawl and waist area is a cut there underneath. Uh, they're highly articulated, like I said, about 30 points. Um, are hand painted for the most part. Very good paint job. I mean, you might get some smears here and there, but that's about it. Uh, she's beautiful. So, here's the packaging. She comes with one of the legs of Juggernaut. And she has a hand, uh, just a, a removable hand that you can, I guess, when she uses, when she don't have the gloves, that she can, you know, use her powers to see, absorb the powers from other people. That's her power, obviously. She's super strong in her and in Gambit. Have a love interest and they never really get together because of that. And, and I believe Cyclops as well, even though he ends up being with Phoenix. Here's the Juggernaut Builder figure. There's Wolverine <clears throat> with the uh, old classic uh, brown on yellow looks really nice kitty pride i think i would like to get her too in havoc we have iceman there uh rogue of course there's the uh marvel's phoenix which originally she's jean gray that turned to phoenix cable which i thought i was gonna like but i really don't like this new cable and then the deadpool looks really awesome uh, he's a re-release from the original marvel legends when they first started like three years ago but they gave him a couple more extra um uh, accessories but he's like what? like there's one in every box and again he's like the chase figure and he's going for crazy money on eBay there's a nice artwork of her both sides and then again in the back so yeah Rogue Rogue you can't go wrong with Rogue Rogue is awesome I'm glad I got her uh, I always wanted one and I never had it before here's the Iron Fist gonna come this way Iron Fist looks dope Really dope. He has that ninja mask over his head in yellow with the black on white eyes. There goes his uh, crest. And these things are actually removable. He comes with removable hands that have the padding because his hands have powers and they turn into fire because he's so strong with his hands. He's kind of like the Bruce Lee of Marvel Legends, if you will. Beautiful bandana crawling down with the details. And here on the waist, tied up with his ninja belt. Uh, I have a feeling that, uh, uh, you know, this is uh, this buck was the same buck they used for the Spider-Man figures. You see, it came with a, those hands, which are translucent. But they're supposed to be so you can put the, the other fire hands, give you the effect of flame over it. Uh, but he also has these, like I said, which is also cool, which is his training hands. And here is a piece... It comes with packaging, Iron Fist. Uh, the series is coming next year in March, I believe, in Netflix, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, from the uh, Darmamus. Darmamus build a figure. Here's a side picture, another one on the side, the exact same one. A nice picture of him in the back, with beautiful lighting. Give it a more dynamic look, high quality with a lot of gloss. <clears throat> There's the Darmamus again, and again, like I said, I already went over the figures. This is the same way. So, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty nice. I'm glad I found them. Uh, he's kind of hard to find you because I had the one in white, but uh, I always wanted the original one with the original colors. And obviously, you know, he was harder to find. But here I go. And last but not definitely not least, I have uh, the uh, Spider-Man villain, which this is his alternate head. I kind of put it on because I think it's more demonic. I love the tongue thing sniffing out. Kind of reminiscent to Max, uh, Carnage and Venom. Uh, he has the scaly look on his, on his, uh, you know, arms and legs like he does in the comic. Uh, he comes with the little thing here, the little uh, sled, evil sled, if you will. Uh, and he has this uh, wonderful translucent. Uh, what you call these uh, pumpkin bombs? They look like pumpkins for fire. See, and I, I basically put it on his hands, uh, like so. And the whole day you can pull, you know, stand them up. It looks really good. They did another, uh, more modernized version of him that was part of a build a figure line with Spider Man, and I like him, but I never bought, picked him up. But this is also his head that he comes with. This is also his alternative head. For those of you who, let's see if I can get it to focus. There it is. He looks wonderful. I uh, love the paint job, all the detail, the articulation, the shiny, sweaty look of Slytherin because he's kind of like a, 
got lizards, lizard, lizard-like skin, all the way back to his, uh, you know, his hood going down with a very Halloween-esque witchery type, like a witch type of goblin. He's a goblin, like him and the Green Goblin look very similar. But I like how Marvel Legends has treated them in a way where they look different uh, in their own right. Even though they have very uh, a lot of similarities, even his boots have the goblin boots with like that nice pale orange look. Again, that's his face. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There it is. Got a more demonic, slithery look with his tongue out. Same thing. He even has washes of black on his cape. The tithering. I think this is the same cape that. Mr. Voodoo, or Brother Voodoo has. <clears throat> I said they share a lot of parts, but as long as they put a lot of love and detail to him, it gives him a different look, and they'll give a different appearance to other figures. He's all scalable, and he has, like, a ratchety... Uh, I, I, he has, like, ratchety... I don't know, like, ratchety joints here. I don't know if you can hear that. Here's the packaging. And the Builder figure is Marvel's Venom. Marvel's Venom. Side profile. Electro. Uh, I guess he's what, uh, you know, the variant. I saw the Electro. He looks awesome. But the problem is, you see the arms there? The hands? Those hands, those are the only hands they give you where he has electricity coming out of them. They didn't give him regular hands. To be to display him normal as well, and that really kind of turned me off from the figure, and I didn't bother to pick him up. But look at that face scope; he looks awesome. I think he's the best looking one. Here's the new Venom. Uh, I I I I've never seen them before. He's probably from the new comic book. He has like a different face, more bulkier. Uh, here's Spider-Man from the Amazing Spider-Man of the younger years, I guess. Here's Spider-Man with. With the black and red costume, I forgot what the universe is that one for. Here's Spider Girl with her ninja outfit. I mean, it's from the web uh, slinging heroines. Spider Girl again, I believe, or someone, or it might be someone else. She has a tan skin color, but with the mask only in the face, kind of like Robin, and then Hobgoblin. He's like the only obscure one uh, that people probably. It's more sought off after one. So yeah, man. Uh, thanks for watching. That was my haul for Marvel Legends. I have another haul coming up for some more uh, <clears throat> gaming related, basically gaming related type toys. Um, something retro, really cool that I found. And you know, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Forgive me, I'm freehanding because again, I didn't have the courtesy of having someone help me with the camera with this video, but. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. And, you know, uh, if you subscribe, remember, I really appreciate it because I know you don't have to and you become part of the family or my family, if you will. And I enjoy. I hope you enjoy this episode of Toys in My Closet. Uh, I'll see you with another one really soon. Peace, guys.